Good morning everybody, how is it going? And welcome to a little bit more of Dota Imba. We're gonna play some of this just because I feel like it, honestly. Uh, I like throwing a lot of shade at Dota Imba and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So, they implemented a new item, right? In the recent patch they changed a lot, or I guess I wouldn't really say they changed a lot, but they added a lot, right? Which is cool, but they added in a new item, which is uh, the Stygian Desolator. And, you know, it's built up, which also is a new item, but that's not really that important. Now, what is important about the Stygian Desolator is that it's the most broken shit ever. Oh my god. Now, I get the point of it. You know, okay, let me just say this, right? Like, would you say it's in the... Shut up. You'll see what I'm talking about, and then you'll agree with me, okay? So we're going to be playing Klinks here, because Klinks works really, really well with it. And yeah, also, Klinks is really, really silly. So, that's kind of the idea, and we'll just see what we can make happen. I mean, we should be fine, right? Uh, we're already going up against some really powerful heroes here. We are going up against Medusa, which I still think Medusa is one of the best heroes in the entire game mode. Uh, but, yeah. Anyhow. A little bit of Dota in uh, that's uh, that's the plan for today. Hope you all don't mind it. You know, just chilling a bit, just doing something that's a little relaxed. And... Uh, yeah, anyway. And in case you don't know what Kling's Dota Imba is, first of all, Searing Arrows is passive. Yes, yes. It also reduces armor. Yes. yes. Um, we have uh, Skeleton Walk. It has a little bit of lingering movement speed, which is actually really, really nice, right? That's a problem Kling's has. Usually you come out of invisibility and you just stand there like an idiot and you hope you kill the opponent before they run away. Right. Um, you have Strafe which passively increases your attack speed, and you can also activate it, which then means you shoot an additional attack every X seconds, which is actually really, really silly, especially if you yes. buy um, an Agonims, which does upgrade it even further. And the ultimate is mostly the same. However, what you can do is you can cast it on enemy heroes, which deals damage to them. Um, to actually, no, does it? No, I, think, I don't think it actually deals... No, 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 no. Take 10% of their maximum health as damage. So it, it does deal damage to them, right? 10% of their maximum health and damage. Um, and if they die after a certain amount of time, then you get a, a permanent buff. If you have Agonims, yet again. Agonims is actually pretty good on this guy. Um, but I'm not sure if that's what we're going for here. Anyway, uh, Searing Arrows, as I already mentioned, do not have a mana cost or anything at all. You just... Fuck me. Ah, <sighs> bounty hunter. Yeah, but they do not have a mana cost or anything like that, right? They just give you more damage. Because that's that's a thing. That's a thing that they do. Because that, that is a thing they do. So, yeah. Anyway. What are we playing against here? Dooza. Oh, that should be fine, honestly. So, uh, you deal 30 more damage just regularly. Uh, also works on the nice. There's actually no reason why it doesn't just show the damage. <laughs> it just doesn't. Just how it is. But that's all right, you know, I don't really care that much. But yeah. Uh, now, because of this, we really just, just hurt really badly. And now we also have attack speed. Which means that we just, just do this and deal a lot of fucking damage. You may notice that was a lot of damage for free attacks. Yo, it's a bit silly at times. And uh, you can just kind of zone people out like this. It would be nice to have it as an active still, because then I could like, you know use it actively, which is kind of nice. Right, I could just cast it and not have the creeps aggro on me. But that's fine, because this is silly enough. <laughs> we take those, right? Uh, and also it reduces armor, right? Which is something important to keep in mind. Uh, first thing we really want is threats, though. But yeah, let me go ahead and punch you some more. Because we can. Also, uh, yeah, Dusa is pretty strong. I actually think Dusa is one of the most powerful heroes in the entire game mode. Um, Really, really good. Definitely, definitely underrated. I'm not actually sure if she's underrated at this point, but uh, the thing is, even if everybody says that she's really, really good, then she's still underrated because you don't understand how good Dusa is. Like, she just becomes impossible to kill and deals infinite damage. And this. She also does that. <laughs> she also does that quite frequently. Anyway, uh, I think we'll just go ahead and run in here. There's no real reason why we wouldn't just try to zone her out like this. Yo, what's up, buddy? Yeah, it's just, you know, kind of free. Right? And uh, I feel like in that case we should go for it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, we can just keep going with this, though. Right? Like, I'll just keep going with this. <laughs> Yo, what's up, buddy? Don't worry about it, man. Just don't even worry about it. That's fine. 
Uh, that's just your life now. Uh, that's, by the way, really, really important. This is not just an Imba thing, but this is just a regular Dota thing as well. If you can zone the people out, zone the people out. Right? And I'm not talking about, like, oh, hey, I'll hit them occasionally. No. Like, literally just sit here. Now, right? just sit between the creeps and the tower. Because you can. Right? It's just like, oh, hey, you're, you're dying now. Good, good, good luck with this, right? I hate that snake. It's the worst snake. Yo, Medusa, what's up? Also, they keep sunstriking me. Yeah, people always have a hard on for killing me, so, you know, it's kind of to be expected, I guess. Yes. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Uh! Alright. I just really wanted that kill, man. <laughs> I just really wanted that one, man. Alright, it's fine with me. Regen? Double damage? Anything? No. Yes. Would have been too nice, wouldn't it? Alright. God, that's ridiculous that she still has so much mana. That hero is just impossible to kill. Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. Hello. There we go with the double damage, of course. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just buy this right away. Uh, this gives us Desolator. Kind of. Five armor piercing. Yeah, that that is as silly as it sounds, by the way. Your attacks just pierce armor. Come on! No, we're not getting that. Holy fucking shit, Medusa. Holy fucking shit, Medusa. Alright, give me that. Yeah. I mean, that's alright, that's alright. Can't really do much about it, right? But, oh my god, that hero is impossible to kill. I mean, like, after all of that, look at that, it's just 400 mana, it's just like... <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Come on. There we go. That only took forever. Okay, let me grab this really quick. I'll get the bounty while I'm at it. God, that... That took a little while, man. That definitely took a little while. All right. What are we buying next? Uh, We're just gonna go straight Desolator. Right? There's like no reason to not do it. And you'll understand why in a second. By the way, we don't really need more than one point into this. Usually you would get more of it. Usually we'll max out this or the, the strafe. But strafe is just really, really good. Right? It's much better than... Um, than yes. the Skeleton Walk. But anyway, right here. So Stugi and Desolate. Which I actually, by the way, I think that's a cute name. That they would call it Stugi and Desolate in case you don't know. Um, that that's what the Desolator was originally called in Dota. Come on! Got him. Alright, we're starting to deal some damage here. <laughs> we're starting to actually deal some damage here. Which is pretty important. But yeah, Stugi and Desolator, that's actually what the Desolator was called originally back in Warcraft 3. Um, a lot of items had different names. Like, for example, the Reaver wasn't just called Reaver, it was called Messerschmitt's Reaver, or Scythe of Wise was called Ginsul's Scythe of Wise. I think Yules is still called Yules Scepter of Divinity. Yeah, they, they kept that one around. Um, God damn it. Okay, well, I'm all a fucking man, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, please leave me alone, man. Give me the haste. I think I'm faster. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm leaving, screw you. <laughs> but yeah, the Yules was um, always called Yules, I suppose. But uh, I don't know. And Stugi and Desolator was just another one of those, right? Where we, uh, they renamed it into just Desolator, but it actually used to be called Stugi and Desolator. Which, yeah. I like that they re implemented that. I think that's like a really cute thing, kind of like a throwback to good old Warcraft 3. Why not? Right, it doesn't really hurt anyone, and it's kind of cute. Okay, let me get this. Get back into the mid and kill the Medusa again. We should be able to do so. Um, we do deal a lot of damage, so I don't really know why not. Okay. Yeah, come on. Alright. I mean, we're still alive. Is that enough? No. Alright. <laughs> oh, wait. No way. Oh, I, thought, I thought that hook connected. That would have been crazy. But no. I would have been ins an insane hook. No, don't get hit by that, thank you. Alright, there's the Dusa again. 
She doesn't have her ultimate this time, though. Nah. You know what? Oh! Yeah, you give me that. Oh god, this is... Uh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself, okay? <laughs> I needed that one. I needed it! I needed it, I could... Look. Look. I needed it. I needed that courier kill. If I don't get the courier kill, I'm just I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy, alright? Alright, let me grab these. Oh god. It's a fight. Alright, don't worry, I'm coming in. Uh, she still has full mana, but hey, the dream. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh god, that is so hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she doesn't have any farm at all. <laughs> Once you actually get farm on that hero, she just turns so stupid. Oh, well, we're just gonna pound into this tower. Yeah, it reduces. Oh, God. Hello. I mean, alright. This is fine, I guess. Okay. I mean, he's probably dead, right? If I had to guess, I would say he's dead. Could you... God! <sighs> Ah, oh, that hurts. Oh, that's not good. I'm leaving. Screw this. I gotta get my desolator, man. Man, that, that is so nasty. All right. I mean, we keep killing her, though. So I got that going, right? But, man, 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 that hero's scary. That hero's definitely scary. Okay, we got it, though. We got the juice. Okay. So, we, this also has an active component. How the Stygian de or the Desolator also works. Like, you can upgrade the Desolator into the Stygian Desolator, but the Desolator already is uh, different. Um, it applies a debuff on enemies when you attack them, right? That is stackable. Okay, you should be dead. That is stackable. Uh, the first hit gives you, like, I think 10 charges. Uh, 7 stacks initially, and then one more every attack. Right, and every stack reduces armor, so we lose, like, they lose 10, uh, no, 7 armor initially, and then they continue losing armor each time I attack them, which obviously works pretty well searing arrows, because it also reduces armor every time I attack them. Um, but not only that, but it also makes it so they lose vision, which that, listen, uh, that vision loss may not seem significant, it's actually a really big deal, though. Oh, hello, lady. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting that. I don't, I don't really know. Wanted to use my ultimate on the thing, but... Oh, hello. Talking about the thing. Ah, that's alright. Let's just go for this. Ah, we take those. Definitely take... Oh, there's an invoker. Oh, my good sir. Uh, also has an ac active, which works like that. <laughs> um, I I'm just saying, that is a thing you can do with it. <laughs> What the active does, it applies um, 15, I think? 15 stacks immediately. Um, no, maximum. A maximum, so that's 12. Okay, so it's 12. Um, I think 15 is the, with the Stygian, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is all a little tricky, right? Like, I don't know. You already have regular Dota, all of the numbers and all of that shit in your head, and then this game shows up and it's like, nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> Listen to this, and we're like, all right, I guess. But you know, you forget some things, obviously. Okay, so we got we got the fancy stuff now. Uh, this is the Stygian Desolator. It's a little more pinkish, got a bit there of a different color. Um, also, it's it's ridiculous. 120 damage uh, applies 10 stacks initially, and we can throw out stacks to uh, put 15 stacks on people. Doesn't have an upper limit like the other one does, and does this to people. Yes. Uh, we should probably get MKB. Uh, another thing we should probably also get is, uh, an, uh, is that silly item, what is it called again? You know, the silly one. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I know, that's a very accurate description of, like, every item in the game, but you know, that silly one. Ah, uh, what is it called? The Triumph Raid, yes, the Triumph Raid. Because it gives us a chance to get some additional attacks out there, which is pretty neat. Uh, I'm not really sure if I want the... The Aghanims, but uh, maybe. But yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, look at that. We have even more minus armor. Uh, we can't just punch people like this. They die pretty quickly. 
Also, my hero just randomly shoots at shit. And then, then, then we do this, and I'm dead. And, uh, it's just, <laughs> just kind of mean at times. I mean, a little bit, occasionally. But that's alright. You know what, we're okay with this. <laughs> is it mean? Yes. Is it, is it something we shouldn't do? No, absolutely not. We should keep doing this. This is amazing. So uh, we're gonna get ourselves the Yasha. The Yasha, of course, having I think I think it's the Yasha that has a chance to attack twice, and uh, that's pretty good because we, we like attacking pretty often. <laughs> oh, come on, Dusa! All right, you win, man. You win. You do you, man. You do you. Okay, you, you may you may also not win. Cook, 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 cook. There we go. Oh, I wish I had my active right now. That's all right. I'll just click on people. <laughs> I'll just I'll just click on a few people here and there, and then then we're done already, all right? Like then we're done already. <laughs> and that's a dead tower. That's a dead barracks. That's another dead barracks. Uh, be, be, because minus armor is a thing. And I'm not really sure if it should be, but it definitely is. I, it definitely is, and it can get a bit silly like that. But you know what? We appreciate this, right? Let me get these. Okay. So, got our Sanjin Yasha now. Which I still don't understand why the Sanjin Yasha is yellow. That's just weird. Wait, why did you hook me, man? What you doing now for? Okay. So we'll activate this, cast this, and just punch these guys really quickly. And... <laughs> and, uh, uh, I'm just... <laughs> I mean, this is obviously, like, uh... Um... I'm pretty fair and shit, right? That's all I'm saying. Like, look at that, there's a phantom assassin. Now, oh, don't worry about her. She doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> We got him. The other fellow's top tower won't be making kind of want to get get my my death pack going on. Uh, it's kind of a nice ability to have. Uh, don't really need that much HP, of course, because of the death pack, but it's still nice to have. Uh, we can always just run in like this and then just push this and murder literally everything in a heartbeat. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, everything. Ever. Um, so this is the Stygian Desolator. I really hope that the guy that is making Dota Imba is still occasionally watching these videos. Because I'm just saying, man, this may be <laughs> just a little silly. <laughs> right? No, thank you. There's just a slight chance that this could possibly be excessive. Right? That's all I'm saying. Right? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that this that this game mode isn't supposed to be broken. Right? I, I get that that's the whole point and all of that shit. But at the same time, this might be asking for... <laughs> this this might, might just be a little much, right? Okay, let me, let me kill you really quick. Those behemoths, by the way, they spawn as you, um, as you lose heroes in the enemy base, I believe. Something like that. But yeah, we have Triumph right now. Uh, I mean, you guys remember how strong Roshan is, right? Right, you you remember that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, like, he's pretty strong in all of them. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's alright, Roshan. You just do your... <laughs> I ain't gonna judge you, I'm just saying that may maybe you gotta go work out a little, buddy. <laughs> because I don't think you can handle this. We have MKB now, which is mostly just for fucking with the Phantom Assassin. Oh, by the way, a cool thing about the Desolator is it's not actually an attack modifier. No, it's not. You ask, I don't know why, but it's just not. So while we are doing this, let me just go ahead and pick up some lifesteal. Be because we can. Right, I feel like that's generally most of the reasoning that goes into anything in Dota Imba. Just like, I'm gonna buy this item because I can. 
and um, I feel like that kind of gives me an, a moral obligation to do it. So that's exactly what's gonna be happening right now. All right, I hope everybody's on the same page with that. And there's a fight in the mid. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Oh, hello. I kind of want to punch this guy. Okay, we got him. We got you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. But let me just go ahead and do you guys a favor and just, you know, kill your buildings in a very reasonable amount of time. Because, uh, why not? Right? Why, why, why wouldn't I? <laughs> Oh god, the taunt, alright. Sunstrikes are still coming out. Uh, so, that is the, probably one of the silliest things I've seen in this mode so far. Now, let me go ahead and say this. This may seem like an exception, but every single game I've played of Dota Imba, with this shit, went exactly like this, or went even quicker. Have fun abusing. That's all I'm saying, right? That's all I'm saying. Have fun abusing. I just wanted to show this to you. Uh, have a good time. I'm sure you will. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Leave a rating on the video and all of that good shit. Goodbye.